Hey, Stukalele from Yukamalam here. Thanks for dropping by. The March 2019 Uke Night is entitled Back to Basics. Today we're going to look at the C major scale and I'm going to show you four different ways in which to approach it. A big thank you to the patrons and subscribers of the channel for making these Uctorials possible. If you would like to help, you too can subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a Uctorial, share it with your friends, and if you'd like to support us, head on over to patreon.com forward stroke ukemullum, which is where you'll find the tabs for this lesson. So the C major scale and any major scale is made up of the same pattern of intervals. With a ukulele, each fret is a semitone or a half step. If you were to go to the second fret from the open string, you have a tone. So the distance between two frets is a tone or a full step. So the major scale is made up of this pattern of intervals. Tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Well, I could play it on the one string if you like. Tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Great. It's not that practical to play a scale on one string. This is why we're going to learn how to play it on the other strings as well. The first thing we need to learn is the finger to fret rule. That means your first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. So basically the rule goes, you use the same finger to correspond with the fret. First finger, first fret, second finger, second fret, third finger, third fret, fourth finger, fourth fret. Here's a little exercise that you can start off with that I like to call the caterpillar. We're going to play the bottom string, which is the A string. We'd call that zero because it's an open string. And now we're going to use finger one, fret one. Keep that in position and move from finger two, fret two. Keeping that in position, finger three, fret three. Keeping that in position, finger four, fret four. And then back. So all together. What you're chasing here is a beautiful tone and legato notes. Not staccato, but legato, smooth. So that's just an exercise to help your fingers orient themselves to the fretboard. And it also creates a little bit of strength. You spend a minute doing that, especially if you're a beginner. The caterpillar. So we've learned the finger to fret rule. Now what I'm gonna do is guide you through the C major scale. So start off with your hand on the front bump, as I like to call it right up here and we're going to use our thumb to pluck the strings and at any given moment I'm going to say okay now I want to put your second finger on the second fret after I say go ready one two three go okay now we're going to play the next open string closest to the floor the second string one two three go Great. Now we're going to play first finger, first fret. One, two, three, go. On the string that we're on, of course. So the next one is going to be third finger, third fret. Or one, two, three, go. You're doing really well. Next one's going to be the open string, closest to the floor, or the A string. Oh, one, two, three, go. Next one is second finger, second fret. One, two, three, go. Last one, third finger, third fret. Ready? 
Oh, one, two, three, go. Very good. Now you get to strum all four strings. When I say go. Oh, one, two, three, go. You did it. You climbed the mountain. We're going to fast track a little bit. I would normally take you through eight beats at a time, but now we're going to do four. Four beats on each note. Starting with the third string. One, two, three, counting from the bottom. The bottom string's number one, two, three. Third string is C, the C string. One, two, three, go. Second finger, second fret. Next string, open. First finger, first fret. Third finger, third fret. Next string, open. Second finger, second fret. Third finger, third fret. Strum. Well done. Once you've done that a few times, you'll start to get to the point where you can actually play each note just the one time, like so. And then we're going to go back. You want to be able to get to the point where you can play it fairly quickly. Maybe even faster, but I don't want to be a show off. So now that you've got the C major scale and you're fluid with it, let's start practicing it in a different way. So we have the C scale in broken thirds, which means you're playing the first and third degree of the scale, then the second and the fourth, third, fifth, like this. Oops, I used my first finger on the second fret. That's a bad habit. Remember the finger to fret rule. That's more correct. Everyone needs practice. <laughs> the next way that we're going to learn how to play the scale is by doing it in uh, groups of three. So we're going to go one, two, three, play the first, second, and third degree of the scale, like so. And then we're gonna go back to the second note and play the following three degrees of the scale. So all together, it sounds like this. Adding the ninth degree of the scale, which is in this case the D note. I'm actually playing my, my Moe ukulele, which has the low G, and I could do the same on that end of the scale as well, like this. And here is the harmonized C scale. This is my favorite. So I'm doing a double stop, which means I'm hitting two strings at the same time. I'll do that for you one more time. The C major scale is the native scale to the C6 tuned ukulele. 
why would you bother learning how to do the C major scale? The fact is, scales are the basic elements that make up music. All the chords that you play are actually using notes from the scale. For example, C, we have a C, an E, C and G. C, E, G. That's the first, third and fifth degree of the C major scale. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you got something out of that lesson. Now remember, if you can't make it to the Uke Night on March 28th from 6.30 p.m. at Club Mullum, you can always tune in on the YouTube channel. And also, at any time, you can head on over to Patreon, grab the song sheets, and you can play along with this live streams that are in the Uke Night playlist. Thanks again. I'll see you next time. Swirl in the sky, swirl in the sky, and the smile on the face, smile.